This is Mary Kelly with Top Secret Leadership. You might be hired to lead a team that's actually more experienced than you. One of my young military friends left the Navy after five years for corporate life. Rachel was hired as an operations manager, and she inherited a team of much older and far more experienced workers. Rachel was only in her mid-20s, and she was initially pretty intimidated by the team. Many of those folks have been working at the company for decades, and now she's in charge. Rachel was understandably worried about being respected by the team and being able to effectively lead them. She wasn't sure how to bridge the age gap, and she was afraid of being perceived as inexperienced, way too young, and naive. She was determined to succeed, and she took on the challenge with enthusiasm. Now, she called me to ask how she could best connect with this new team while addressing their leadership needs and establishing herself. She knew she had a lot to learn. She was very humble, but she made it a priority first off to listen to the team's ideas and concerns. Now, one of those team members was very blunt with her, and he actually poked her in a conversation and said, I don't have to listen to you. You don't know anything. This could have daunted someone else, but she made the effort to understand the team's work history and what they had learned over the years. Especially with this very difficult new person that she was having to deal with, she asked them for their insights and advice, and she made it a point to include them in the decision-making process. As a result, the team, even this really difficult team member, began to respect and trust Rachel. They appreciated her willingness to listen and to learn from them, and they saw her over time as being very dedicated and very capable. Under Rachel's leadership, the team's performance improved and the company's profits started to increase. Rachel was praised for her leadership skills and was eventually promoted to a higher level within that same company. Rachel realized that being open to learning from others, regardless of their experience level, was key to her success as a leader. She knew she didn't know it all and she didn't pretend that. She knew that effective leadership was not necessarily about all of the things on paper. It was about being open to new ideas and working collaboratively with others. This is Mary Kelly. See you next time.